What is Holochain and is it worth considering? Hi folks, this is Guy and in this video I'm going to answer this and many more questions. Before I get going though, I do want to make it clear that we've never been paid or mandated to do any of our videos. These are our views based on our research and are for your educational purposes only. Moreover, I'm not your financial advisor and you should speak to yours before you consider any crypto investment. Oh, and one more thing. If this is your first time at the Bureau, then you may want to tap that subscribe button. We'll be keeping you up to date with the latest and greatest from the crypto space. Anyways, let's get right back to Holochain, shall we? Holochain is a framework for distributed applications. It uses a completely unique approach that we've not seen in the crypto space up to now. Unlike most blockchains that use a data-centric approach, Holochain uses an agent-centric approach. This could provide a more scalable and customizable solution than traditional blockchains. So what exactly does agent-centric mean and how could it help Holochain? Well, let's take a closer look under the hood and find out. With the agent-centric architecture, the agent, in this case the node, runs their own blockchain that connects to the public Holochain. The agents only need to maintain their individual blockchain and the cryptographic key connecting them to the public chain. This is unlike traditional blockchains where all of the nodes are required to maintain consensus on the network and keep a record of the state of the blockchain. We are all well too familiar with the extensive blockchain bloat on large ecosystems like that of Bitcoins or Ethereum. Similarly, the standard proof-of-work blockchains require an inordinate amount of electricity to maintain consensus across all of the public nodes. Many in the space have seen these energy demands as unsustainable. Of course, the Holochain main chain has to maintain verified information from each of these agent nodes. It does this through a series of rules that can validate the data. This also has the benefit of keeping a limited record of the data on those agent nodes should they go offline. The developers compare the system to the way that a living organism stores information in DNA or the way that languages are stored by populations of people. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, and if any of this is pretty confusing to you, then we have linked to our complete review in the description below. It's well worth checking out. Now, as mentioned, Holochain is a development platform that you can build decentralized applications on. When building dApps for Holochain, developers are free to use both Lisp and JavaScript, and there is also support for front-end languages such as CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. There are quite a few dApps that have been built on Holochain. I won't go into all of them here, but we have covered them in our complete review, which you can find below. Moving on though, another central component of Holochain has to be their HOT utility token. HOT is an ERC20 standard token that was issued at a crowd sale ICO that took place in April of 2018. They were able to raise about 30,000 Ethereum in exchange for over 133 million HOT tokens. This was about $20 million at the time, so pretty well funded assuming they converted a chunk of it to fiat. Prices of HOT have been trading range bound since they hit the open markets, less volatile than most other tokens. Of course, the HOT token was just a precursor to their native token powering the Holochain ecosystem, the Holofuel. Fuel. This will be used in order to pay the node operators to maintain consensus on the network. They can also just be used as a simple transactional medium. When ready, you'll be able to swap your hot tokens for the hollow fuel variant one for one, so keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the team now, shall we? The Holochain project was founded by Arthur Brock and Eric Harris in 2016. Arthur has over 10 years systems architecture experience, while Eric has a BS in computer science from Yale, so their skills are well aligned with the project. Moving on, how do the markets look for Holochain? Hot Token is listed on a number of exchanges that include the likes of Latterken, Binance, Coinex, Hotbit, etc. Volume seems to be pretty well distributed among these exchanges, which means that liquidity is not restricted to only one exchange. And speaking of this liquidity, it appears pretty healthy on all of the exchanges. This means that you can easily execute large orders with little slippage. Once you have those Hot Tokens, the most prudent thing to do would be to take them off the exchanges and into a wallet. Given that HOT is an ERC20 token, you have pretty extended range of wallets that you can use. Any that supports Ethereum will do. So what do I really think of Holochain? Well, the unique approach that they have taken towards consensus did indeed pique my interest. Blockchains are becoming bloated and slow. Transaction times are hampering rates of adoption. Moreover, development on Holochain is progressing at a swift pace, both from the core team and through external applications being built on top of it. There are also a host of exciting milestones in their roadmap that I'm keeping an eye on. 
Having said all of this, there are still some challenges. This is mainly in the way of strong competition. There are a number of other projects that have developed their own alternatives to blockchain technology. This include the likes of IOTA and Nano that use the DAG data structure. Of course, these are just transactional focus, so Holochain does provide a unique use case above this with their application development framework. It'll no doubt be interesting to see how things develop over the coming six months. And that's all, folks, my review on Holochain. But what do you think of the project? Or are there any other projects you think could challenge Holotain? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you found my video helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe. More juicy reviews will be on their way.